Hey everybody, what's up? Texas and over here. Got another quick update for you. I'm gonna try to make this one real short and sweet. Maybe, maybe. But check this out. Got my LS3M. Put a link below for the previous video that I just done the other day. Uh, it's LS3, uh, 395 horse. So uh, I haven't opened it yet. I'm savoring the moment for that. Um, but I want to top some loose ends that way and get everything done one step at a time. But big question is muscle car oil pan. Do you use the GM muscle car or the Holly 302-2? Well, just so happened that I got both, both of them here. I accidentally ordered one, went to call on the GM performance saying, hey guys, this isn't gonna work. I do have a Heights uh, front end. On my Nova here, it's not gonna fit. And they're like, well, you know what? 30 minutes ago, man, they didn't came picked it up. So you know what? I got both of them. So I thought it'd be a pretty good deal if I went ahead and did a measurement test comparison side by side. Let's see what's going on with the two, compare them. So let's check that out. All right, so here we go. Top one is Holly, 302-2, GM Performance Muscle Car Oil Pan. So go ahead and start with the muscle car uh, GM Performance. Let's just go ahead and pull down here and take a look. This is the 1921-2593 GM uh, Performance Muscle Car Oil Pan. Check it out. Everything is made in Taiwan. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit more. Components made in China with import parts, pieces, imp importities. I don't know what that means. Uh, Taiwan, Republic of China, GM Genuine. Oh, fuck, I guess they're just making it in GM. So, um, there it is right there. Pen kit, engine oil. All right, Holly. Pretty much just a straight up white box. Did order that from Jegs. And I think they're all, prices are all pretty much about the same from what I understand. So, 302-2 old pan, LS retrofit. In the, uh, let's see, in the USA, utilizing casting from China. So, there you go. That is going to go in that right there. And that's my LS. I have not unboxed that yet. So, if you people don't know, let me just take her over here, take a look at what we got right here. Quantity 1 engine. It is the LS3 480 EFI. Um, a lot of confusion about that 480. GM Performance did state that is a 495 horsepower. These are old stickers. I, I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Uh, sometimes you want to believe what you read. Sometimes you believe what you hear. Um, did state that, hey, yes, this is a 495 horse straight from GM Performance. That's what the guy told me. So right there. So, all right. Let's get these bad boys opened show you what we got do a, uh, do a side by side okay well let's check a look this here this is the gm performance part straight from gm and i have to say i'm pretty impressed with it so far this is just the first time i've opened it up uh looks like you get the the gasket this is the gasket that goes with it i don't want to really take it off you do get a old pan dipstick that comes with it that's uh that's those two pieces right there this is the pickup tube that goes with it. And this is the, the uh, scraper, oil pan, diffuser, whatever you want to call her. And that's it right there. And that is the hardware. All right. So. Get some numbers written right there. 1605, I don't know what that means. All right. So this thing is pretty solid. Do you get the bolts that go with it? All right, let's just go ahead and set this out. All right, that is that one. Holly, you know what? Before I dive into Holly, I, I'm, I'm not really impressed with this so far, to be honest with you. So, this here looks like the old pickup tube. Let me set this down real quick. Oh, okay. 
no wonder I couldn't get it open. Um, they do have the old pickup tube sealed, which is right there, which is understandable. That is the hardware. That's the hardware right there. And that is the muscle car oil pan. And just got a little winnish tray right there. So, GM Performance, Holly. GM Holly. So, I don't know. So, can I do it side by side? That's it right there. So by the looks of it, looks like we're a lot narrower or not as not as tall so let me get these on the ground and let's do some comparison side by side with some measurements okay now that I got this uh, set down um, looking at it you know what I'm really not impressed with the Holly more impressed with the GM uh, first off this here, I believe, was $280, I believe. This was like $200. So more meat, you get, like I said, you get the you know, heavy duty oil pan gasket. This here did not come with a gasket. Wendy's tray, that's what I wanted to call it earlier, but it left my mind. That is the Wendy's tray right there. That's your Wendy's tray right there. So, like I said, it's really not, I don't know, I'm not too uh, keen on it, but nonetheless, height-wise, this here, height-wise, you're looking at five and a half inches. Here, you're looking at maximum maybe about seven and a half. Five and a half, seven and a half, almost a shade to seven and a half, but we'll just call it seven and a half. Um, so you got two more inches in height, okay? Um, sump spacing. I'm looking roughly about 10 inches. Let me get this out the way. Versus seven and a half. So I think in the 70 Nova is what they're talking about. This hangs too low, okay? And the front will hit your cross member. So, versus that right there, you have just a little bit right there. So, and as you can tell, that sits up. I do have a box that's rested under here. So I know this is top heavy, because check it out. It wants to fall down. So, there you go. Okay, well, here we go. Compare the two. GM, Holly. Like I said, you know what? I'm gonna favor the GM side, okay? Only reason being is that they come with all the needed hardware. It comes with the bolts, it comes with the gaskets, it comes with the old pan dipstick. To me, it almost looks like it's a better construction, better quality than the Holly. The Holly is straightforward. It is an aftermarket deal. Do aftermarket stuff normally work? Is it better than the OE? I'm gonna leave that question to you guys. The Holly 302-2, the price, why it's higher, I don't know. $400, it gets about $400 after you do, uh, after you do your tax and everything. This is $200 at GM. Unfortunately, us muscle car guys, we gotta use this. Camaro, Novas, Chevelles, anything a muscle car that sits low, this is two inches shorter than that is, okay? Sump pan, the reason it's shorter, they gotta go with a longer sump pan. This is 10 inches, I believe that one was seven and a half. The front part is narrower because the front part of the pan, it's gotta sit on our cross member. These here are for like, uh, from what I read, trucks, uh, old classic trucks and things like that. That is per perfect because they sit up higher and that old pan is seven and a half inches and it, it can extend down past the old pan, no worries. So, 
200, uh, $400, $200. You will have to get with this Holly oil pan is your gasket, of course. If, if you're just starting off brand new, if you don't have to take the ones off your other LS or if you're doing a crate, everything's gonna come with it, this is fine. It does not come with the gaskets, the bolts, okay? And uh, your oil dipstick. But if you already got a motor, you're set up, ready to rock and roll. That's that's gonna be good for you. I am gonna hopefully reuse my old, my new uh, gasket, the one that's in the motor right now, and all the hardware bolts. So this is this is gonna be fun for me. So there you have it, guys. And I'm gonna pan down just a little bit so you can actually see the height on it. So there you go. Well, there you have it, guys. I appreciate you for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, got a very low budget. I am shooting this on an iPhone, so I don't have the microphones, the tripods, or the GoPros or anything like that. So, But you know what? My experience, my failures, my wins, guys, I'm going to pass it on to you so that way you don't make the same mistakes as I do. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.